There's a reason why we're so particular about who we select to be police officers in our society. So gladiator up. Face your target. To begin, go. This is the Washington State Criminal Justice Training Commission near Burien. Good, keep going. The true guardian has to be prepared. So dive, grab, elbow. Scoop. It's here that recruits from police and sheriff's departments across the state learn to become cops. Rack and then reassess. A true guardian is also a warrior. Police, get down. Hit it. Stop resisting. Hit it. Get back. Over five months, these recruits learn to master defensive tactics. You can dive in here. There you go. Ah. How to use force to gain compliance. Move, move. You understand me? How to get a troubled suspect into cuffs without hurting anyone. Policing is the profession of arms. How to shoot to kill. But they're also being taught to see themselves very differently than the recruits of the past not just as warriors out to catch criminals, but as guardians of democracy. I think Plato said it best. He said, in a republic that honors the core ideals of democracy, the greatest amount of power is given to those known as the guardians. When executive director Sue Rar welcomes a new class, I wish you the very best of luck. She emphasizes the importance of character, and treating citizens with respect and dignity. I'm going to explain in just a moment what this is all about. RAR hands out pocket copies of the Constitution. Here you go. Setting a dramatically different tone than she found when she took over two years ago. What I observed was a very militaristic environment, much more militaristic than it was 35 years ago when I came through the academy. RAR put up a mural of the Constitution where a trophy case of badges, handcuffs, and weapons once stood. If an officer sees himself only as a warrior, he's more likely to only use those tools that a warrior would use. If an officer sees himself as a guardian, he is more likely to look at a much broader set of tools to improve safety. You're going to begin to understand how this comes to life. RAR got a federal grant to bring in this man. To create the right outcome. Retired Illinois police commander Michael Neela. It's a way of being. His mission. It's who you are. Training the trainers to blend the best of the warrior and the guardian. Quiet your mind. A philosophy he calls blue courage. It's a blending of the heart and the fist. The fist is the ability to engage in battle and win when it's necessary, uh, but the heart is the heart of a humanitarian who is here to serve. So I want all of you right now to close your eyes. Some of his techniques. Trust me with your eyes closed. I, will, I have your back. Feel more yoga camp. Everybody take a slow, deep breath in. Then police academy. One, two, Three. But Neela says cops who can put aside distractions and get laser focused, hold it, keep their cool in stressful situations, and make better decisions. Exhale slowly. We saw his breathing techniques being used across the academy. Deep, thoughtful breathing. Even here. Just breathe. On the firing range. Helps you break your lack of focus. Reed Weaver was a cop in Monroe for two decades Here. before he trained police in Afghanistan. Start pressing the trigger now. He sees nothing touchy-feely about the changes underway here. Looking at the person, talking to the person, actually hearing what they're saying, although there's nothing touchy-feely about that. And if it makes you safer and we get injured less and we injure less people, why, why would you not teach somebody that? Spread out. The instructors insist they're training these men and women to be just as tough as their predecessors. Stop. You got off the bag, Stop. you gotta hit it. Hit it. But to use their power with more discretion. Stop, please. We need to try to de-escalate situations, and we can do that by communicating with people instead of just going hands-on. A message that seems to resonate. It's be smarter, not work harder. 39-year-old Elizabeth Kennedy says she spent 12 years as a prosecutor back east before deciding to become a cop. Put up off your ground. She feels the training here strikes just the right balance. It's not just force, not just brute strength. You want to use your words, you want to use your mind, you want to use everything that's available to you, and that's what they teach us here. I don't want you to lose sight of why you're enforcing the law. Surar believes this kind of training will mean fewer officers crossing the line and fewer departments having the feds step in to demand reforms like what's happening right now in Seattle. I think there will be fewer complaints and, and certainly I would hope there's less use of force because I want our officers and our citizens to be safe. Open. Recruits are Open. still put Open. through demanding Open. 
Open. Even painful situations like they always have been. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. In this class, they get blasted in Open. the face with pepper spray. Open. They're learning just because you're uncomfortable, you can't stop doing Fine your Bellman. job. Fine Bellmans, you're slowing down. Uh, shots fired, two down. Stop resisting. One in custody. I've been sprayed. You have to show Open. that under intense stress, what are the four firearm safety rules? You can still remember and follow the rules. Keep finger off the trigger. Immediate threat to who? Myself or the public. Because that's what a guardian of democracy does. Harder, faster, both knees. In Burien. Okay, finger on the trigger, here we go. Gentle now. Linda Byron. <laughs> King 5 News. Perfect. Perfect. Good, ready?